than the next to her. I don't know why they're waiting for. But she was all over the internet slandering my name. I have never protested a homosexual. I have never protested a transgender. I have never protested a lesbian. But because you hate black men, because you hate strong heterosexual black males. That's right. Come by. Bye. Bye. Somebody get that sister a McDonald's meal, you know? I don't care if you want a quarter pounder, a big fish, you know, a 20 piece McDonald's. Get that sister a milkshake. It's a holy water. Peace and pan Africanism. Peace and pan Africanism. I want to say thank you to all the brothers and sisters in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, who came out today to support me during the one o'clock panel discussion. And the 7 p.m. keynote tonight. Thank you to brother for Brother B. Marshall, to Brother B. Marshall, for bringing me to Pittsburgh today and for standing strong in the face of the hate and repudiation by members of Pittsburgh Rainbow Gang community. Brothers and sisters, today was a great event. Pittsburgh showed up, showed out. They bought just about all the hoodies. They bought just about all the books. Thank you to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I look forward to coming back to Pittsburgh more often. I look forward to spending more time in Pittsburgh. But I want to keep my Dr. Umar supporters in the know. I want to keep my Germaniac Nation, my Ifa Tunde Army brothers and sisters, I want to keep y'all in the know. If y'all remember, eight years ago, I gave a speech in Kansas City, Missouri, during February, Black History Month 2015. Kansas City, Missouri, February, Black History Month 2015. If y'all remember at that lecture, one of our lesbian sisters jumped up and challenged me during the course of my lecture in Kansas City. Well, the same thing happened again tonight in Pittsburgh. The same thing happened again tonight in Pittsburgh. We had one of our lesbian sisters who happens to be the chapter president, possibly the founder of Black Lives Matter Pittsburgh. She leads Black Lives Matter Pittsburgh chapter. And she attempted to disrupt my lecture tonight when I mentioned that members of the rainbow community in Pittsburgh tried to sabotage my attendance. They wanted to be removed from the conference today. They sent slanderous information out about me around Pittsburgh. They intimidated and bullied a lot of the panelists into not showing up simply because I was attending. I want to clarify my position on the rainbow nation. I do not hate you. You, my brothers and my sisters, and I care about you as much as I care about the rest of the community. But I disagree with the lifestyle that you have chosen to live because I consider it to be a risk to the survival of the traditional black family. But there is no hate. I don't advocate hate or violence against you. The sister tonight, I don't know your name, my beautiful black sister, the president of the Black Lives Matter Pittsburgh chapter, but you were very disrespectful. You were very disingenuous. And you were very selfish to try to turn my lecture into a sounding board for you to project misinformation, slander and stereotype about me and heterosexual brothers and sisters like me who love and respect you, but simply disagree with your lifestyle. So I'm calling out to the sister right now not to antagonize her, not to disrespect her. But I'm calling out to the sister right now, president of Black Lives Matter Pittsburgh, because I would like to have a conversation with you, whether you want to have that conversation on live for everybody to see it, or if you just want to have a mature conversation between you and your brother, because you are still my sister. Yes, you're disrespectful. Yes, you're disingenuous. Yes, you are selfish. Yes, I think you tried to turn tonight's event, which was about the entire black family, and you tried to turn it into something for just the Rainbow Nation, and I don't appreciate that. But because you are still a woman, I'm not comfortable with the way things happen. I'm not comfortable with the fact that I had to have security escort you out my lecture. I am not comfortable with the fact that I had to have security escort you out my lecture. So what I am offering my beautiful black sister is a telephone conversation. If you want to keep it private, I don't have a problem with keeping it private. Or if you want to make it public, if you want to have an Instagram conversation or a Zoom conversation, we can do that too. But I've never had to have a black woman 
escorted out of my lecture before. And I've been speaking professionally for 23 years. I've never had to have a black woman escorted out of my lecture. Even when the lesbian sister in Kansas City, Missouri, eight years ago, stood up, she asked questions. And although she started off as belligerent, she eventually calmed down and we had a respectable dialogue. We did not leave in agreement, but we were respectable towards one another. Okay, we were respectable. Your exchange was not a respectable exchange. And I'm bothered by the fact that I had to have you escorted out by security tonight in your home city or your chosen city of Pittsburgh. So to those of you who are friends or family with the good sister who heads up the Black Lives Matter chapter in Pittsburgh, please let her know. I did not take any delight in having her escorted out of my lecture, but you were being disrespectful and you tried to make the whole lecture about you and we could not allow that to happen. I'm also interested in having a bigger dialogue with the Black Lives Matter leaders, Patrice Cullors and the other sisters who founded this organization because I'm trying to find out whether or not you are for black lives or are you just for black rainbow lives? Which one is it? Because if you are for black lives, nobody should have a problem with an event entitled Black Health and Equity Summit for the black community. That should not be a problem for the rainbow nation. The Rainbow Nation should not have a problem with Dr. Umar coming in to give his expertise. I was not invited to Pittsburgh to talk about y'all. I was not invited to Pittsburgh to talk about rainbow issues. I was not invited to Pittsburgh to castigate or denigrate or malign brothers and sisters who practice alternative sexual lifestyles. So we need some clarity from the Black Lives Matter National Office. We need some clarity from the Black Lives Matter National Office to find out why do y'all have a problem with heterosexual black males who are simply speaking on issues relevant to, to the black community that doesn't include rainbow topics. Why did that sister come to my event and try to disrupt it and had to be carried out by the security? Okay. Why does everything have to be turned into an agenda for or against the rainbow community? Nobody hates brothers and sisters of the rainbow nation. I don't hate nobody. I respect you all. I care about you all. I just simply disagree with the lifestyle. I simply disagree with the lifestyle. We got people out here killing black people. We got homeless black people. We got unemployed black people. We have the highest incarceration rate since God knows when. We got black children out here committing suicide with all the problems that we have. With all the problems that we have. Why do you want to reduce a community conference, a beautiful, well-organized, well-attended, well-put-together community conference? Why do you want to sabotage that and turn it into an instrument of conflict between heterosexuals and homosexuals? Why must certain members of the rainbow community, but I'm going to keep this about Black Lives Matter. Because she is the president of Black Lives Matter Pittsburgh. And I need to have a conversation with the national office and the national leadership of Black Lives Matter. Because I need to understand why members of your organization, leader, a chapter leader of Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter Pittsburgh leader. Why did she see fit to turn a beautiful event for the black community? Nobody kept y'all from coming around. Nobody said y'all couldn't attend. Nobody said y'all couldn't participate. Why did you seek to turn this beautiful conference into a conflict between heterosexual and homosexual members of our African family? Why, why, why? Brothers and sisters, please find, go get in touch with the sister who leads Black Lives Matter Pittsburgh. Get in touch with the sister who leads Black Lives Matter Pittsburgh and let her know Dr. Umar would like to finish what we started or what she started. Rather, I would like a respectable conversation with my sister so we can hash this out, straighten this out and get this together. Pittsburgh, I love you. Thank you for the pictures. Black women were looking so fine tonight. My sisters were so beautiful. Shout out to the black queens in the building. 
Shout out to the black kings in the building. The elders came through. The youth came through. College students came through. And if anybody has the footage of the discourse between myself and the chapter president of Black Lives Matter Pittsburgh, if anybody has the video discourse, the conversation, the interaction, the argument between myself and the chapter president of Black Lives Matter Pittsburgh, please put it out there on social media because I don't want the sister to misrepresent what I said, misrepresent what I was trying to say. I don't want her to misrepresent what she said because she hasn't been honest at all in her agenda to get me canceled. So please put the footage out there. Put the footage out there for everybody to see. Don't edit it. Put it out there so people can make a decision for themselves. I do not hate LGBT. I am not against LGBT. I simply disagree with the lifestyle. This is King Kong Consciousness signing off. If you need to reach me, you know the number 215-989-9858. Peace and Pan-African.